Okay, welcome back. So today we'll be talking about what we have here, which is crossover. So what I have with me today is 234XS 34-way crossover, okay? Forget all the English there. And then not here, crossover, okay? So if you look here, you will see this is channel 1 and this is channel 2. Sorry about the shining from the camera. It's because of the reflection of this material, okay? So the main thing is like every other, whether it's your amp or mixer, just understand that there will be channel 1, there will be 2, like your power amplifier, okay? So once you understand how to use one of the channel, you can replicate the same settings for the other one, okay? So if you look at the first thing, what we have here is input. Now this is like the master control for this particular side because what is coming in, this is where you can boost it. You may decide to increase it or to reduce it. So this is where you do that work. Why this is low? When we talk about load, low means the bass part of your voice. Like if, for example, if I'm playing a song now, you know, maybe the song, the person singing has a very thin voice, no bass there. You can decide to boost it here. Okay, okay. So if you look at this side, this is low slash mid. Now this side controls your mid voice and your low range. Okay, the intermediary of the two of them. Why right? this one control mid slash high? Why this side is for the low output, okay? So the low part, the bass part entirely, this is the side where you'll be able to control it. Why for the pure, if you look at this one, this is low. This is low mid, this is mid high. Why this is for the low itself, the main base, why right? this is for the main mid, why this is for the high range, okay? This is where you control it, okay? So based on what you want to achieve, for example, if this side is connected to a speaker, which I wanted to have base now, for example, if you look at the previous settings on this, you see that my mid output is zero, yeah? Why this side is a little bit high, or let's say very low, close to my infinity, okay? But if you look at this, my low output here, you can see this one, you can see where it's pointing. That is to tell you that I'm currently using this crossover to drive a base, okay? So that is just it in a very notch here. Why if you look at the input side, this is where you control it. So what we have here is just replication of what you have here. So this is channel one, this is channel two. Now if you look at the back side, and also I know this video may not really set to everything you need to know about crossover because one thing about sound engineering, your crossover, your EQ, compressor, the rest they are very important so for you to understand everything very very well you have to sign up for a master class so we'll break it down for you so to be very helpful to you do it to sign up for that class okay this is your place where you plug your power cord this is the part it will enter you can see this now if you look at this side this is my one of my channel Why right? this is the channel one this is channel two you can see it here channel two Okay, so if you look at this side now, that is to tell you that this is the part that is coming out. So the part that is coming from my EQ, from my EQ or directly from my mixer, based on the one you have, it will definitely enter through this place. You know, this is our channel two, this is channel one. Once you understand the way one of them work, you understand all. So this is our input. Okay, so if I'm sending, if, if a chord is coming from my mixer, this is where it will enter. Okay, for this side, this is where it will enter. Okay, so... Since we have the input here, let's say the input from the mixer or from our equalizer enter this place, then your output will come here. So the core that will be connecting to this place will be the one going to your power amplifier. Just watch. If you if you are not getting this output and input thing very easy, just go back to the previous video and rewatch it. I've broken everything down, so just rewatch. Okay, this is your input where it will enter. The code coming from your mixer or your EQ. This is where it will enter. So the output this side will serve as your output now. So if this one is going to be my output now, one beautiful thing about your crossover is that you can decide what you want it to do. For example, if I have just let me say I have one chord coming to this place. It can serve like one and a half amplifier here because I can decide to use one side of my amplifier to carry my low range. This one for my mid range, right? This for my high range. Okay. So that's one of the advantage of crossover. It will give you more ability to split your work easily, okay? So this is, so for example, if I'm going to my sub, I may decide to connect my sub output plug here. So from this place, I will send it to my power amplifier. I don't get confused. We'll still do everything practically. So if you have a mid range, you tap it here, your high range. So repetition of what we have here is still what you have here, okay? So that is just everything in a nutshell for crossover we'll show you how to connect it but if you really want to know how to use it professionally we have a course on that so just sign up it's very little talking also thank you so much see you in the next video